what do you think it would cost to like paint all these, take these gates off of the windows, put new windows on? Thank you, sir. You know, like get some, get the trash to come twice as often. And this is the same city that if you go to Malibu, we've got several hundred million dollar homes for individual families. You know, how do you, how you explain that? That person is that much more important than every single person here? Like, how could you be mayor or governor and be proud of what you're doing when this is, this is going on? Who buckets the paint, you know? About like what that what that feels like, what that means, you know, to, to see that someone cares about your neighborhood. But you know, when you walk outside, you see trash everywhere. You're saying, "Well, nobody cares about where I live. Nobody cares about me. Why should I care about anything?" But that's what they're changing here. You know, is they're showing that somebody cares. I feel like my my mission was to come back. And save a few of the youth. Like today, we got the we got we got the um, Watts Farmers Market. You know what I mean, we set up at ten at ten o'clock. It's on the crack, and the community be out here. These ladies, these ladies piping out here since seven o'clock. You know what I mean? And they they know. You know what I mean? It's gonna be beneficial. You know what I mean? And every week I get on that mic, I'm letting them know the goal is to fill up your refrigerator. This is a good brother right here, man. All of this good stuff in here. This brother right here, man, with his, young, with his young mind, creativity, has got all of the good stuff going on. And this is state of the art, you know? Yeah. And that's why I respect it so much. It's like you brought the best to the community. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And we're still bringing the best. Mm -hmm. We ain't done yet. We're not done. And his mind right here, he just say, hey, go get it. We go get it. Yeah. It's good old G's like that, like, uh, like Dr. Perry himself. Like, I mean, that was like doing the work before me, you know what I mean? But like when you when you hear it, when you like you hear it like you know what I mean about areas like this, mm -hmm. like I say like the first thing that come out of this like grip of negativity, like you know what I mean, you hear about like what? Like you hear about all the violence and you know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you walk when you walk in here, like my whole goal with every kid that walk in here, I wanna empower them. You know what I mean? So that's why the logo and the name is Empowerment Center. Like I want each and every kid to walk that walk in this door on a daily to have a story, you know what I mean, behind whatever they mission is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was able, I was able to send, we was able to send like, um, we was able to send one of our, one of our youth to college, you know what I mean? So he got like, he got more houses, he got like so many different offers, you know what I mean? And we've been just raising, raising funds for him right now to get, he, he supposed to, supposed to be trying to raise, he's raising, trying to raise 50 grand. So now he's at like 70 grand right now, nice. you know what I mean? So now our goal is to raise him 100 grand to get him two years through college, you know what I mean? When, when we see him off, you know what I mean? There he is. Man of the hour. Marvion, y'all. <laughs> How you doing, Marvion? Marvion. A legend. Good to meet you, man. I'm going to Morehouse this fall, so I'm class 2025. Morehouse is actually my dream school. Congratulations. Thank you. So I want to go into law to politics because mm -hmm. I feel like, I know people say politicians are corrupt and all this and that, but I, I agree. That's why I want to go to change the system from the inside out. Like right now, mom working three jobs and she's living in Arizona trying to get um, her fourth one mm -hmm. to make sure we're provided for it. And I feel like a basic income will relieve stress. Nine out of ten, every single last person in these and who lives between these bricks and these bricks are families. Um, and the ones who don't who live in single houses are seniors. Seniors really can't work. And if they can, people don't want to offer them a job because they're they say they're old, they're fragile, they can't move, they can't move as fast as a young person. So if you're not gonna offer them a job, at least offer them money for them to have sustainability. Oh man, I vote for you. Okay. <laughs> when I'm elected, I honestly want to work for my constituents and the people make sure that they get better jobs, make sure that they have an income, make sure they know they're not alone in that. I'm actually here to represent you and make sure that you're good. This child from to actually see what the world look like, he's going to, you know what I mean, he's going to become something, you know what I mean? And just to see him off to become a man, like, it's a, it's a great thing, you know what I mean? And I feel like my job is well done, you know what I mean? And for the real to see, like, you know what I mean? Hey, it's some good come out of communities like this, you know what I mean? Don't tell me that a mom in 
Beverly Hills or Calabasas, her baby is worth more than a child that's born here. A mom here wants her baby just as safe as a mother over there. Uh. Yeah, the best way to predict your future is to create it, and that's what we do. Like, people will say over and over, they try to tell the community that they're defined by their statistic, and I was like, no, history will be good to us because we will write it. So, that's where we are. Thank you. Yeah.